Okay, how many of you are familiar with the single phone pattern? Whoop. Then maybe a uh, quick recap. It's a pattern when you have you stand by the mic. Ah, where you just have one uh, instance of something in a system. For example, resource management, logging, or configurations. My name is Arne Lepisk. I work at a firm called HiQ in Stockholm. And I'm going to, to talk uh, about my experience with singletons in C++. Because I worked almost 10 years with C++ and almost all projects use singletons in one way or another, even if they maybe don't call it singletons. Because as you probably know, singletons aren't universally loved. Okay, how do we implement this? Uh, if we just do an internet search for singletons in C++, you probably find something like this. Uh, you have a class with private constructors and just a, uh, an instance method of static that you use to get in it, uh, the instance of the singleton, so you can use. Either returns a pointer or a reference. And you use it like this. A problem with this, and all my examples are, are very strict, so you have to imagine all the private copy constructors and so, so on. Uh, a problem with this approach is that you expose a lot and lot of your internal data structures and so on. And you probably don't want to do that because, um, uh, yeah. You, you leak a lot of information. One way of getting around this is to use a pimple uh, approach. You have a, a private cl class that you use to hide the implementation. Another way is to use an uh, abstract base class for a singleton. It feels a little bit odd because you use abstract base classes to make several variants of your class and you have a singleton, which there only is one. Must be strange, but I've seen this used a lot. Uh, but if we want to have a singleton that's easy to use, we can ditch, in a way, or hide our um, in, uh, instance method and expose all our um, interface with static methods. And so we can call it with our singletons colon colon foo instead of singleton colon colon instance pointer to foo. And then we, yeah, then we can use it like this. If, I hope you can see the top row. But that syntax reminds us of something else. We can ditch the class all over. Put your implementation in a namespace and then you can hide all your internal data in an, uh, an anonymous uh, namespace in your implementation. There is drawbacks with this, because if you have, um, if you try to call these methods from a, a constructor of a global object due to initialization order things might blow up, it's, you, you can't work around it. Finally, I want to talk a little about testing of these um, singletons. It's always a bit hard because you try to encapsulate some, so much things away, so um, you don't have access to, to the data. There are ways around it. I've seen you add a method to your singleton that just clears the state. You don't implement it in your production code, only in your testing code, but it's still there. I think this is plain ugly. Other ways, you just, you just don't want to scream. <laughs> but if you, yeah, and then the abstract base class, you make another implementation as well. Uh, but with the namespace-based solution, you can, instead of putting it in an uh, namespace, you put it in a detail uh, 
namespace, put it in a separate include file so you can edit it or access the data from, from your test code. So my time is up. So if you're going to do a singleton implementation, please consider put, ditching the class altogether and just put it in the namespace. All right, thank, thank you. you very much, Arno.